Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. Concept design is crucial to the success of a product. But getting design concepts into a shareable electronic format has always been a challenge. In today's episode, we'll show you how this is changing and why. I'm Allison Tupperwine. Trends in concept design is a study that was conducted among leading design and engineering firms. The study found that 7 in 10 companies throughout the concept design phase of product development created a wealth of intellectual property. On top of that, companies also agreed that nearly 70% of a product's cost was fixed during the concept design phase. The take home was pretty simple. Concept, concept design, design counts. counts. So here's the issue. Until recently, companies struggled to take their brainstorming sessions and bring them to life in CAD. Even though every modern office is littered with computers, designers still turn to pencil and paper when they first bring their ideas to life. But why would they do that? It's because pencil and paper have such a low barrier for use. The same can't be said for CAD systems. While the old pencil and paper method might be available for anyone to use, it lacks many of the characteristics that make 2D CAD so powerful. Sketches have little dimensional information. They don't have an easily shareable format. The list goes on. On the other hand, 2D CAD contains all the tools engineers need to give their initial drawings concrete meaning. But it takes time to learn the software, and it takes some time to get each project started. The same can be said for 3D CAD software, but the 3D paradigm has an added benefit. 3D models can then be prototyped on a 3D printer, and the value of holding an idea in your hand can't be overstated. But again, we run into a problem with 3D modeling. 3D CAD software is designed around a parametric approach, which is intended to lock down the finer details of a model. Traditional 3D CAD software doesn't lend itself to multiple easy iterations for sketching a prototype. So if concept design and CAD are to move forward together, developers are going to need to unite the strengths of both sketching and 3D CAD into one package. Fortunately, it's happening now. The new approach for CAD concept design revolves around the idea that you can take a 2D sketch and use it as the basis of a 3D model. Once a 2D sketch is completed, it can be imported directly into a 3D modeling environment where the parametric constraints of old are an option, not the rule. The direct modeling paradigm allows users to push or pull features, move, translate, or rotate them without fear of breaking the dependencies that would have crashed models in the past. There are also external benefits to more easily capturing concept design ideas into digital models. Instead of spending endless hours translating hand sketches and updating old models, the new approach makes designers more efficient. And with that efficiency comes more time for deeper exploration of newer and more brilliant innovation. Thanks to PTC for sponsoring this episode. To learn more about modernizing concept design, visit ptc.com slash solutions slash concept design slash modernize. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.